she's somebody that i was very very close to when i was younger and unfortunately we're not as close now because of mainly, mainly because of me i think but you know just generally you know drifting apart but you know i'm not really the best at keeping in touch with people and being there for them and stuff but um one of my friends that i kind of grew up with the first person that i kind of went to a holiday with actually when i was young when the first time i went to new york first time i went to america the first time i traveled you know on my own with my friends like that was so epic man i think we must have been like 18 19 we all went to fucking new york and that was like a pilgrimage because we mainly went to go visit the supreme store and at that time that friend of mine had a very popular blog here in london or in the uk called bntl that he used to run and he was also working with uh, 10 Deep. And I remember they went down there to work with 10 Deep and I think Mishka, another brand, an old streetwear brand. I don't know if you guys remember that brand called Mishka back in the day. So we went there precisely. We went there basically for a streetwear pilgrimage. And we were all like 18, 19. We we're all like super young in the scene. We all love taking pictures and doing shitty graffiti and wearing Jordans and Air Maxes and hats and shit and buying burgers. Honestly, it was so fun. It was so fucking fun. So we went back that we went there for our first holiday and you know a lot of great memories were had there a lot of fucking friendships were forged there but unfortunately me being the idiot that I am when I came back it kind of you know that was basically the last real time I hung out with them in a very serious way which is really sad because I think I might be the only person in that group who doesn't hang around with those guys you know I think they all keep in touch with each other they all hang around each other I'm the only person that isn't there because I obviously chose not to be there and obviously over time they kept inviting me out, but then, you know, you know how it is with people, isn't it? Like, if people keep inviting you out, but you keep flaking or you keep not being there or not showing up, they're just going to stop inviting you, you know what I mean? And then you can't, but the, the weird thing about um human beings, even if you're not the most reliable person, if somebody doesn't invite you to something, you sometimes take it personally. I don't know why that is. You know why you're not being invited now. You know why you stop getting those texts and those calls, but somehow you are still offended that you didn't get one even though you knew you weren't gonna go so it's odd anyway regardless um those type of people luckily i've got instagram and shit so i can still kind of keep in touch with them you know loosely i don't really count double tapping someone's pictures or leaving con you know comments or replying on instagram story as really keeping in touch but that's all we have in the 21st century so i'll take it so randomly because i don't really use my instagram as much i open my again the instagram is fucking amazing the algorithm is fucking amazing on instagram I don't even use my Instagram as much, but randomly when I did open it, I clicked it and the first thing that came on my feed was one of my friends um, is expecting a baby, which is not surprised really, to be fair. You know, I think he'd be, you know, the first to admit he's definitely more of a girlfriend guy um, in the span that I've known, in the space that, in the time that I've known him, he's probably had like double digit girlfriends. Like he's always got a fucking girlfriend. Um, I've never really known him to be a link guy. I'm sure he did get linked, but it was always girlfriend, 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 girlfriend. He loves, he loves a good girlfriend. So it's not too surprising that he has um, expecting, but it's still like, I think that might be the first person in our group that's expecting actually within this friendship circle. I think so, if I'm remembering correctly, which is really, you know, it's kind of sad because last year, RIP Joshua Sweeney, he was the first person within our group to die. I think outside of, um, I forgot the other guy's name. Bear, no, no, forgive me for, not remembering his name, um, the black guy that died a, a few years ago. But um, of the close friends, you know, one person passed away last year and then today, um, or this year, sorry. Oh, no, not even like, last year. It was this year, wasn't it? I think it was this, it just passed this year. I'm not too sure when it was. It feels like ages ago. But, and then this year, of course, somebody's well, is going to bring in some, bringing in life to the world and shit. And I have to be honest, you know, I have to be honest. I thought I would be more broody, but I'm not. I think that's probably a sign that I probably don't, you know, it's not for me. The whole having kids thing, having a family thing. I've, I've never really been that bothered about it. I'm not going to lie. It's never been something that's kind of been on my mind anyway. Something I've always kind of um, shared or kind of been seeking for. No, nah, not really. So it was interesting when I saw that post. I was like, oh, that, that would have, I was hyped for him super hype for him because again he's a, i know him to be like a like a girlfriend guy i know him to be like that you know a lawyer in that way as well as we someone once he gets a girl he chills out and i mean he's not out here like the rest or like me you know he's not still out here you know trying to throw his fucking piece around he's fucking down you know what i mean he settles down and shit he takes care of his business and he's obviously a, I'd, I'd say i'd say personally he's a bit more mature than me i think life-wise so i think it's brilliant for him and the stage of his life that he's going into um but I thought I would be a little bit more like, oh shit, man, this is a wake up call. 
Agostino, what you're doing, man. You're flopping, man. You're taking your foot off the pedal. Blah, 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 blah. Not the case, brothers. Not the case. I didn't feel I didn't feel a thing. I felt super hyped for him. Like, I was super hyped for him. Really hyped for him. Like, I can't wait to fucking meet the kid. Eh? I'm really happy for him. Really happy. But, but, I didn't feel anything about whether I'm not sure I have kids. But actually, I was also thinking about, do I even deserve to meet the kid, really? If I haven't, if I haven't made any effort to meet these guys socially, you know, just to hang out and have a beer and shit, do I really deserve to meet the kid? And I think as a parent, you should probably be a little bit more selective about who you introduce your kids to, right? You don't want, obviously at that, when they're like babies, it doesn't matter because they're not going to remember. But you don't want to, so I would imagine there's something about surrounding kids with like energies of other people they're never going to meet just randomly, probably a little bit too much. You probably want to be selective about who they're around, you know? And if I haven't really been with these guys, I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I had a pint with these guys. Now all of a sudden I'm popping up with a fucking birthday shower. It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. I should probably allow it. You know? So probably not, you know, it, 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 if anything, it's a little bit needy, you know, it's a little bit too like, mm, you weren't really here, were you? So I don't know. I don't know. But I am happy in that I didn't really feel any tinge that I needed to go and shoot someone's club up. To be fair, I felt that anyway, because even my other good friend, big up Natalia, Big up Natalia and, you know, she's expecting a second kid now. Big up them. You know, fucking lovely, fucking beautiful family they have over there. And that's somebody that I was, you know, that I've known for a while. Somebody that I kind of DJed with for fucking two years, I think, during one time um, at that bar in fucking Sh in, in Stratford. You know, that saved us for a while, man. That was a fucking grim gig. But I've known her for ages and, you know, I've seen her relationship blossom and that didn't ever, that never gave me the kind of like urge to be like, oh yeah, I need to shoot someone's club up and shit. So, it's it's good to know it's good to know it's good to know but if that does change in the future that's a bit mad as well do you know what i mean but i don't think it actually will i really don't think it actually will i'm not that's not even something that's in the front of my mind right now there's so many other things i need to get fucking sorted out before i even even try to you know envision that sort of thing but it is quite nice to see i'm not gonna lie because i'm somebody as i said before previously in the pod i do i'm a sticker for phases i do think people nowadays try to hold on too much like to stuff like it's even the other day I saw pictures of like Jennifer Lopez post breakup, not even post breakup, post divorce, doing the whole like you know typical young girl thing of like, oh you know posting the flowers, the inspirational quote, looking like a baddie in a mirror with the bum showing. It's like, bro, like at what point does that phase of your life stop? Right, like, you're like fifty years old. You've had four failed marriages. Maybe they're not all your fault, but still. Like, when will you just grow up? Like, why are you posting these things? Like, who are you trying to ensnare next? Who are you trying to entrap next? Like, who are you talking to? Who are you trying to convince? It makes no sense. So, it is quite nice to see people, you know, within my age range who are not still trying to hold on to their youth and not still trying to be that the guys that we once were and maybe evolving and, you know, growing up and shit. And one of the parts of it is, you know, starting the family and being perfectly okay with that and that kind of journey, what it brings. Because the other guys that are still trying to be the cool dudes, you're still trying to be the man about town and shit. That's incredibly cringe. So I'd much rather see all of my friends, you know, um, settle down and have babies and shit than see a bunch of them still posting pictures of like, you know, cocktails and beer glasses and pictures, you know, what you call it, blurry pictures of them falling out of a cab or something. It's like, bro, that shit is cute when you're like 25. That shit is cute when you're like 24. But that shit is not cute when you're above. It just isn't. It just isn't. You just need to relax. So I'm glad to see some of my friends relaxing and doing that sort of thing. But like I said, it's just, you know, it's a bit wild that I don't have that, you know, little, like little pool telling me, hey, hey, go shoot someone's club up. Go do it instantly because I just, I don't know, you know, I don't even have a pet. I think that's where I'd have to start. If I wanted to even, if I wanted to even entertain that, I think I'd have to start off with a pet. I'd have to get one, but like a proper low maintenance one, like, I don't know, like a goldfish or something. You know what I mean? And then I had to work my way up until I got like, you know, a cat or a dog. And then maybe I would be like, okay, cool. I need something more. But to be in the situation I'm in now, position I'm in now, where I'm incredibly self-centered and selfish, um, I probably don't think I'm the best person to try to uh, introduce a life into the world. I don't think so personally, you know? Um, personally, personally, personally. But congratulations to him. 
really happy for that guy. Um, and yeah, man, let's see Wagwan in it. Let's see, let's see, let's see Wagwan. Let's see. And to be fair as well, I was complaining before that one of the reasons why I hate to use Instagram is that it kind of forces you to know things about your friends that you don't want to know online like that. You want to find out IRL or something. But a lot of these things I would have never found out if I didn't see on Instagram, you know? This is a kind of a, that's a positive and a negative of it. It's like, there's no way I would have found out that this guy is expecting a child unless I saw on Instagram because I'm not going to text him, do you know what I mean? You're not going to post that update on your, I don't know, WhatsApp stories or something, do you know what I mean? How else am I going to find this stuff out? So I'm glad that I did find it out the way I did find it out. So um, yeah, um, more power, more blessings to those guys. More power, more blessings to those guys. That's all I have to say about that one. 